Of course, everyone knows we can't live without food. We can't live without consuming the goods that is necessity to keep the nutrients, the minerals up for our bodies to produce and to do the things it needs to do each and every day. Well, today we're gonna to be talking about bioengineered foods, GMO foods, the dangers of it, also the ones that are right in front of you. This stuff is in your food and it's all in the name of producing more because people are not producing their own food anymore. So companies are coming in and finding ways to mass produce food at a lower cost, also to make it go further and to feed the quote unquote masses. So they're saying it's for your good. They're saying this stuff may not hurt you. There could be a few risks. Well, truthfully it is. So let's talk about today, bioengineered food, what they're putting in your food, what is it doing to your food, the risk of it, and what should you be doing to implement changes. So let's jump into it today. This video is gonna be good and it starts right now. Hey guys, welcome to the Max. Thank you so much for being here today. We gave away some coffee just a few days ago. Uh, today is Friday, so Sunday we're going to be giving away another set of coffee. So all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel and also our vlogging channel, The Max Life. Give us a thumbs up, comment, hey, we're subscribed. You'll be entered into that giveaway. Uh, the coffee is Hollow Point Coffee. It's single origin organic coffee that we love. It's a phenomenal company to support, so I will leave a link below to them. But ultimately, we just want to give this to you as a thank you you of, of being subscribed to our channel and watching because it does mean the world to us that you are part of this community. Now, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up and, and share with your friends. Our goal is to grow our channel. Hopefully, we can build wisdom together and making wise decisions for our families. There was an article wrote, uh, Epic Times, that says, Dr. Warns of Hidden Harms of Bioengineered Food. Well, you, you do realize that everything that we partake does have warning labels on it, especially if it's not good for you. See, what happens is people don't uh, do the research anymore. They just believe in what they're partaking, that if it's got government approval, if it's FDA approved, if it's USDA approved, it's okay for us. Well, that's not necessarily always the best case. Think of the food pyramid. Back years ago, the food pyramid that was, was kind of pushed to school students, was pushed uh, all across the board of healthy foods, uh, you know, the healthy fats and the proteins was not as good as like eating five to seven, you know, servings of carbs and breads a day. Now, we know that's not good. Those heavy starches are not good. All the chemicals that are in those products are not good. They didn't talk about all the benefits of holistic dieting. So sometimes when we hear, you know, it's been regulated or it's been approved, the question then comes down to, how safe is it still for us? You know, was this company really involved with USDA or FDA? There's a lot of lobbying going there. So be careful when you see those labels of, this is safe for you. You need to really look at, you know, is food harmful and what foods are the best for us? Because our diets really make our bodies either work better, of course, develop diseases or develop sicknesses that then we're either on medicine or we have no uh, quality of life. With the rise of bioengineered foods and ingredients on the market, doctors are warning of consuming all these harmful things that could be lurking in our food that we're purchasing. Again, USDA says it is okay to put this in your food, but it does show when you have that food that it is genetically modified. Now, if you look at your, your normal foods, um, on the back of the ingredients where it shows your nutritional facts and sometimes says, you know, may consume peanuts, may uh, consume soy or something, you know, it kind of has those warning labels. Usually it's going to say right there, derived from bioengineered food or bioengineered ingredients included. Well, what that is, is that is saying they're taking this and changing the makeup of a holistic food or a holistic diet. Uh, I'm going to give you a list of foods that, that you should be looking for. And remember, if they're the starting ingredients of everything that you're consuming, those starting ingredients are in every food. So you're getting bioengineered food, whether you like it or not. Some of those foods are um, that have been approved by the government. Alfalfa, including sprouts. Now, for instance, we feed alfalfa to our cows that we're, in, that we're milking, but we feed a certain kind, and we'll talk about that. Apples, canola oil, corn cotton, cotton seed oil, any kind of foods that's using those kind of oils, eggplant, papaya, pineapple, potatoes, salmon, soybeans, squash, sugar beets. Now a lot of those are the starts for a lot of other things, even down to some of the wheats and things like that that we're putting in everything. If they're modifying the crop or the seed, then therefore it's modification done to it, like corn, 
then it all of a sudden goes into something else to make another byproduct or to make another processed food the more processing the more preservatives that's in that food majority of those things percentage wise are bioengineered the risk of bioengineered foods to our health now let's jump into that again reading from the epic times article it says dr hater told the epic times this food can be toxic it could cause allergic reactions or promote antibiotic resistance that's a big one antibiotic resistance it could also trigger immunosuppression or cancer meaning you are more susceptible to other things that you can be picking up you're immunocompromised also carcinogenic agents we talked about this with the bioengineered meats they look at how cancer cells grow and they learn how that grows and they take that um, that availability and that way that strain does and they learn how to put it in food so that way it helps them grow the food quicker in petri dishes so it's carcinogenic it's modifying something that god ordained for us to eat and they're changing it and making it bad for us basically when we bioengineer what we're doing is we're taking a gene out of a out of a genetic code and entering it into another genetic code well Food in general, for instance, let's talk elderberry. Elderberry is very good for us when we utilize it right. So for instance, when we turn around and simmer it and make a elderberry syrup, it's very good for us. But when we just eat it, it actually has toxins in it. Food has genetic makeups where it's good for us, and then there are some foods that we have to learn how to utilize better so it won't cause us harm. Well, what genetically modifying food is, we're changing the genetic code out and we're not sure of the genetic makeup which toxins are the best for us or which toxins are bad for us. There's good bacteria and bad bacteria. We talk about this all the time when we eat fermented foods. It's good bacteria. We're taking in good bacteria. Raw milk, we're taking in good bacteria. But when we turn around and start genetically modifying, we may be taking out the good stuff and we may be replacing it with stuff that's really not good and it changed the genetic code, the genetic makeup of natural food that will cause us more harm. Why do we see more peanut allergies now? Why do we see more diabetics now? Why do we see more carcinogenic or cancers now? Why do we see more cholesterol issues now? When you start thinking about the health problems we've had since we've started uh, bioengineered food, it should kind of put two and two together and say, there could be a link there maybe we should do a little bit more research. Where is the research saying that it's it's actually good for us, that, that bioengineered food is good for us? Truthfully, bioengineered food and GMO food is in the infant stage, meaning we really don't know enough about it. Isn't that, some, isn't that kind of like something else that happened just a few years ago? We make something and we say it's safe and effective. We say it's good for us. And that's exactly what they're saying. GMO food is not bad for human consumption. However, there's not been enough research to say, yes, it's okay you are becoming the research that they're needing. The more you get sick, the more we do, they're gonna start doing trials and studies and then we're gonna look back one day and say, that is not good for you. Remember cigarettes? I remember when I was a kid, cigarettes were not really, a, I mean, they were, they were known as, yeah, it's kind of taboo, but it wasn't really considered bad. I remember my grandfather owning a store and smoking in his store and everybody was just okay with it because we were told that it's not bad for you. Well, years later, we see it's carcinogenic. It's terrible for you. It's bad for your lungs. It's not good for your cardiovascular system. But remember, it was approved a long time ago. So now it comes with a warning, a very dangerous warning years later after the test subjects. Well, I believe, I'm scared to say, I believe we're gonna see the same situation with GMO food and processed and preserved food. We're gonna see that years from now, we're gonna say, oh wow, there's a lot of people got really sick and there should be a warning on this food because it's not really good for consumptions now that we've done the research well the research was you and your sicknesses the american cancer society admitted that bioengineered food might create substances that could cause reactions in people with allergies and it will make a high level of compounds which could cause major health effects so say your say your body has got natural cells in it and and then we start changing the genetic code of stuff we're putting in it the more we expose our body to this uh, genetically modified um, stuff and foods the more that our body is taking these extra toxins in or this different makeup that we're not used to it is unnatural we become immunocompromised so then we're building more of a, a, a of a problem for our bodies to f fight off diseases to fight off sicknesses I mean, think about antibiotics. If we are building a GMO food bake and everybody's eating trash food all the time, then what happens when we get a very serious uh, attack, a very serious bacteria attack, a very sickness that, that we typically would take an antibiotic for 
and all of a sudden, guess what? We, we can't anymore. We're sick and we cannot take antibiotics because our body has built a resistance to it. So therefore, we're building a sicker population, which is going to make for more hospitalization, more heavy pharmaceuticals, which is ultimately making for a sicker population. The American Cancer Society also said, however, at this time, there's no evidence of food on the market that contains genetically engineered ingredients or substances found that is harmful to human health that we know of and that would maybe increase or decrease cancer risk. You see that increase or decrease, meaning they don't really know. They have no idea with this genetic mo modification, is it causing more problems? Well, again, look at the world. Take your common sense approach. Why are people sicker? Why are people uh, more obese? Why are people having diabetic issues? Why are people having more health issues? Why people are more lethargic? They're, they get sick more, they're on medicine more. Why? What has changed our diet? Our diet that's the biggest thing the more we consume the more we put in our body the more problems we're having because we are losing the fact of what a holistic diet actually looks like also in this study it says dr. Hader cited a study published by the Lancet in October of 99 which involved feeding genetically engineered potatoes to rats they were detrimental changes in their organ development metabolism and immune functions unfortunately he said anyone who published something was attacked again big business and uh, the powers to be the three-letter agencies don't want this kind of information to get out they realize that it's it's actually killing other animals this same doctor also said he is concerned with the injections going into livestock are we going to see some of the same effects that we talked about for the last two to three years of what are we putting in our body because it matters because whatever we put in our food goes into our body as well the point of food is to be healthy to take care of us. Well, if the stuff that we're putting in our body is not food and it's not healthy and it's been modified, then what are we actually doing? We're building a sicker population that needs more medicine, that is gonna be a weaker population. Because what food, protein, carbs, they give us energy, it gives us strength. Just what we need, a balanced diet. If we don't have a ba balanced diet, we're not building stronger humanity, we're building a weaker humanity. So I'm gonna give you a list of things you should be doing. You should be avoiding anything that says bioengineered. You, you'd be surprised. A lot of mayonnaises are bioengineered. A lot of creamers that you put in your coffee is bioengineered. A lot of things that you have in your typical diet that you're buying from the grocery is bioengineered. All you gotta do is look at the labeling. It's very small, but it's on there. USA produced by organic or non-GMO. Do not buy any food that says natural, no preservatives, but it doesn't have the labeling of non-GMO or organic. Make sure it's from a third party. Make sure it's just not like, well, the government says it's organic, so it's organic. Or the farmer says it's organic, so it's organic. No, you look for a third party labeling to say, okay, this is non-GMO, this is organic, this is holistically bought, or this is from a trusted person that I've bought food from before. We have to get back to a diet that is based on holistic practices. Also, keep yourself away from boxed food. Things like cereals, things like um, instant potatoes and all this stuff that's in boxes. 60% of the stuff in grocery stores are actually preserved with processed GMO modification or with a lot of chemicals on it that's actually causing harm to your body. So go back to a holistic approach. It may take more meal prep. It may cost a little bit more because they subsidize the crap and they make the expensive, they make the organics and the non-GMOs more expensive, which is unbelievable. But you have to learn to say, I'm gonna take a different approach to my diet. I'm gonna meal prep a little bit different, but I'm gonna start buying everything in a holistic way. Apples are on that list of GMO. Pineapples, potatoes. So therefore you have to look for the the, the, the non-GMO version, the organic version, or start growing a lot of your own food. So please start making changes to your diet because we don't realize if you're eating McDonald's every day, if you're eating fast food every day, if you're buying box dinners every day, if you're eating out of a microwave every day, if you're eating all this bioengineered GMO garbage, you wonder why you're sick, you wonder why you're on all these prescriptions. Here's the reason. Put two and two together, use common sense, and realize it's our diet. It's in our food, contaminated food, it's what you're eating. It takes the strength out of men, takes the strength out of women, takes the healthiness out of our children, and it becomes a way that uh, we're always a weaker vessel and not as strong as we should be. Guys, give me your thoughts on this video. I'm just being honest with you. I think that our problem a lot of times goes back to our diet. It affects our immunity. It affects our, our sicknesses and health. It affects our brain and how it operates. It affects our organs, just like the rats. Be careful what you're putting in your body and ingesting. Guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless. Happy Homestead, y'all. Say